On a cold January morning in 2004, 36 of Europe's most highly regarded wine critics, journalists, and buyers met in Berlin to blind taste 16 wines. Eduardo Chadwick, owner and president of the Chilean winery Viña Erasuris, organized the Berlin tasting and seminar with a simple yet powerful objective. The Berlin tasting came upon my frustration that critics were not really recognizing the quality of our wines because they knew they were Chilean until it was a new country coming into the world stage. So the idea was to have a blind format where they could concentrate on their senses and really evaluate our quality for what it was. Stephen Spurrier, orchestrator of the Judgment of Paris and one of the world's foremost wine critics and a champion of French wines, hosted the tasting. When I first heard that um, from Eduardo that he was going to do a comparative blind tasting with his Icon wines against the top wines from Bordeaux and Italy, I thought he was being very brave. The event started with a technical seminar presenting two Chilean terroirs, Aconcagua and Maipo, in the context of the world's most renowned appellations. Then, the group moved on to participate in the comparative blind tasting. I think blind tastings with a qualified panel, and by qualified panel I mean exceedingly qualified panel, are a very valid, in fact one of the rare ways that an unknown wine of quality can become known. The wines were selected from Bordeaux and Tuscany's legendary millennial vintage, most of which had been awarded an immaculate score of 100 points by wine critic Robert Parker. Three of Chile's finest wines were selected. Don Maximiano, the tradition and heritage of Viña Erasois, Senya, Chile's first icon wine, and Vinedo Chadwick, a tribute to Don Alfonso Chadwick Erasois. The wines were carefully served without revealing the labels. The results were compiled and calculated. And then, the unexpected happened. I was surprised, to say the least. When Eduardo knew that he'd got a wine in the top five, he relaxed visibly. He turned to me and said, that's nice. And then the next two were French, and then the top two were, were his. He didn't expect a result like that. Nor did I, nor did anyone else. From Berlin, this unique experience was recreated in the wine capitals of the world, setting out to test the ultimate standards of quality for an icon wine, consistency, and aging potential. Yet, in Sao Paulo, Tokyo, Beijing, London, New York, Hong Kong, and around the world, the Chilean wines consistently earned acclaim opening minds to Chile as an origin for truly world-class wines, one glass at a time. The Berlin tasting, rather like the Paris tasting, can be talked about and talked about and talked about. But if you have the consistency uh, like that, that is a rem remarkable result. And it proves Eduardo's point that his wines are equal to the best wines in the world. Well, it has been a great honor to participate in all these tastings around the world and to have been able to prove that our wines have been consistently uh, selected amongst the best wines of the world. That, I think, is the major result, that Chilean wines were not viewed as great potential wines before. After the Berlin tasting, they were. <laughs>